I've got this bit, I don't even know what you'd call it, the top crash bar, I suppose, panel, whatever. Um, I've got it clean back to shiny anyway. Um, I'm going to rust treat it now. There's quite a few bits of rust on that. Um, I've cleaned up half the, the uh, two out of the three bits as well, just the fronts of them so far. There it's had its uh, first coat of rust treatment. Uh, I got these bits sanded down because they had specks of rust all over them. Um, didn't really worry so much about the back because it's not seen. Um, just basically keyed it and dealt with any rust issues that it had. So they're ready for rust treatment now, both sides. There's the crash bar had. Uh, I think it was three or four coats of uh, rust treatment and I've sanded it back as well so it's nice and smooth so I'm going to go ahead and give that some uh, black undercoat now and the wing bits if you like the grill bits sorry they've now had two coats of rust treatment so they've still got to get another one or two yet as well there I've given the uh, top crash bar, three coats of uh, black primer now, so I'm going to give it some colour. There is a crash bar with three coats of paint and two coats of clear uh, varnish on it. Uh, only bit, I'm quite happy with it, the only bit that I messed up, you know, you see it, is this bit here. And that was the clear coat going on. Yeah, that was a clear coat going on, um, but there's a sticker goes here anyway, so it will hide all of it, if not most of it, or I'll just rub it out and go over it again. That is the wing, one of the wing panels, the grill panels, sorry, had a coat, a black undercoat. Right, I've been doing some bits of welding in the back. I'm um, just going over like pinholes and wee holes and stuff like that. As you can see, there's a few more than I thought there was. So, I'm going to get on with cleaning all that up now. I'm just con sorry, video cut off there. I'm just concentrating really for the tubs back, getting that right, and then I'll cardboard that up and then I'll work for the tubs forward kind of thing, getting it just. Right. 28 degrees outside today and I'm in the back of the van sanding. Great stuff. That's me had my biannual haircut so that's knocked about 10 years off again. I'll do it till winter. Um, <clears throat> I'm still in the back of the van. Been doing more pinholes and sanding back. Um, so it kind of disappeared with my grinder just now, so I previously cleaned all this area back but I'm going to do it again and we get rid of the rust and I've made this patch at some point, obviously a while ago because it's all rusty, so I'm going to clean them up and weld them in basically. Right, I've got that bit uh, cleaned up. There's maybe a hole that I've got to patch here. And this is going to be fun. But I'll manage. Uh, I'm going to put some um, well through primer on the back of this and on this bit. Then the well through primer is dry now. So, um, get that tacked in. Right, got that tacked in. Um, gonna have to do a lot, quite a bit of building up welds here. Um, 
here as well. Um, quite big gaps to try and fill, so I'm going to see how I get on with that. Right, I have been doing more welding and sanding and boring bits in the back of the van. Um, can't remember if I did show you this bit welded in that I did the other day. And holes to chase in places. But I knew I was going to have to do that anyway. Um, so I'm going to get that ground back. That's what I'm doing today as I'm grinding back all the welds. I have my son, young Saul, with me again today. Busy as ever on his phone. But what we've done is we've took the metal strip that goes on the grill. And this is his little project. is to clean the, the metal strip up front and back sand it down, prep it, paint it, um, so that's his wee job to do it. Good son. I uh, stopped grinding, find this like this. I did this bit a lad. This is Saul's bit. And then I hear no noise when I stop grinding. So I go all the way around the building thinking he's went for a pee. No. So then I come back in and I sit down and I turn round and here's Saul. But he had the snood up over his face trying to sleep. A grinder going beside them. This is the millennials nowadays. Generation Z at its best. Sat on his ass cross legged working and then sleeping. Hey son. Right. Mm hmm No, oh, burnt out my finger sander. Um, this bearing in here, the pivot in here is sitting off square so it's slowing the motor down the motor is smoking um, which obviously isn't good <coughs> I do have another one there, which I've already stripped down, so I'm going to take it home tonight and make one good one out of the two of them, hopefully but I um, I've pretty much done all my, my floor, all the bits and bobs, all the uh, pinholes. Um, the only bit I have to do still in the back is I've got a patch to do here, which I'm going to get on with next. And a little bit there where I did the sliding door. Oh, I missed a pinhole there. So get the bits done. That'll do for now. Right, I've got some, uh, I've got that rusty bit cut out and cleaned up. I'm going to put some weld through, through primer on it. Um, I'm not worried about this bit of rust here because I'll get that for when I do the underneath. I'll just rust treatment that bit. So I'm going to get a bit of metal cut and tacked in there now. No, I'm not. I'm going to uh, weld through it first. I have found a better grill in my box of bits um, on this one. There's broken bits, uh, the badge is missing, um, blah blah blah. This one's just in generally better condition. The badge is there, although it might need a bit of paint or something. Um, this actually looks in better condition as well, but I have went this far with this one. I've kind of taken this over because Saul's not here. Um, so I've went this far with it. I'm just taking off basically all the metal. This basically, all the bits that I've sanded, they're, they're low spots if you like. So I'm going to go over it with some cataloy next, I think. I got that wee patch welded in. I'll go ahead and clean that up now. No, oh, burnt out my finger sander. 
um, this bearing in here, the pivot in here is sitting off square, so it's slowing the motor down, the motor is smoking, um, which obviously isn't good. <coughs> I do have another one there, which I've already stripped down. So I'm going to take it home tonight and make one good one out of the two of them, hopefully. But I, um, I've pretty much done all my, my floor, all the bits and bobs, all the uh, pinholes. Um, the only bit I have to do still in the back is I've got a patch to do here, which I'm going to get on with next and a little bit there where I did the sliding door oh, I missed a pinhole there so get the bits done that'll do for now right I've got some uh, I've got that rusty bit cut out and cleaned up I'm going to put some weld through, through primer on it um, I'm not worried about this bit of rust here because I'll get that for when I do it underneath. I'll just rust treatment that bit. So I'm going to get a bit of metal cut and tacked in there now. No, I'm not. I'm going to uh, weld through it first. I have found a better grill in my box of bits um, on this one. There's broken bits. Uh, the badge is missing. Um, blah blah blah. This one's just in generally better condition. The badge is there, although it might need a bit of paint or something. Um, this actually looks in better condition as well, but I have went this far with this one. I've kind of taken this over because Saul's not here. Um, so I've went this far with it. I'm just taking off basically all the metal. This basically, all the bits that I've sanded, they're, they're low spots if you like, so I'm going to go over it with some cataloy next I think. I got that wee patch welded in. I'll go ahead and clean that up now. Um, back at the van today, I've pretty much done all my pinholes and stuff in the back of the van and patches and stuff, so it's... Um, almost ready to paint. I'm going to rust treat all the bits and then prime it. Um, but I'm needing to buy paint for that so I'm leaving that just now and I'm jumping back into the cab area. Um, I've got this little bit here to patch. Um, I did make a repair patch for this at some point but it's got lost along the way so we'll have to make another one. Um, that's not a big deal, will not take too long. Um, oh, drop the phone there. Um, this is just surface rust, so it just looks worse than it is. It's not actually nothing. Um, I have this area. Uh, to do. Um, which I basically had to cut out when I changed the, the inner wings. Um, this has been a repair patch that I've made for it. Um, I think this is the original van, and this is a bit repair that I've made. Um, again, it's got rusty over the months that it's sat, so I'm going to clean that up and clean this area up, and then get this bit tacked in at least. Right, I've got this area cleaned up and shinied up as good as it needs to be. Um, I've got some weld through primer to put on there. Um, I've cleaned that bit up again. Weld some, some weld through primer on the back. A little bit of rust treatment inside where the, in there. Get some rust treatment in there. We can't get with a finger sander on an old weld. That's my bad. So I'm gonna do that first before I weld the panel on. Right, there's the second coat of rust treatment on this bit. It's about four o'clock on a Sunday night, so I'm not going to get any more done on it um, this week. So I think I'll end the video there.
and uh, hopefully get it out for you guys soon. Um, thanks for watching.